Okay, so let's get started. I will just give a very quick brief of what GoFloaters is for the people who are hearing about us for the first time. Uh, GoFloaters is a platform for finding office and workspaces, uh, workspaces, office spaces, and meeting spaces, in fact. And uh, we are currently uh, present in four cities, Chennai, Bangalore, Hyderabad, and Coimbatore. We provide close to uh, 700 uh, spaces across all these cities. And uh, these spaces are affordable flexible and completely on demand, which means you can book it by the hour, by the day or by the month, right? And we are looking to scale up to four more cities by the end of the month. And uh, we, we do not want to just be a platform, right? That, that's, that's the point in uh, conducting events like this. Uh, so uh, our pri primary customer base is startups, freelancers and SMEs. Uh, so, which is why we, we provide startup deals, startup discounts, uh, freelancer discounts. We, we frequently conduct events like this, uh, where there's a lot of uh, knowledge sharing happening, a lot of discussions happening. And uh, 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 we want to be the bridge, right? We want to, we want to build the ecosystem for startups and freelancers to thrive, right? And uh, we understand that right now it's, 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 a, it's a tough uh, situation for, uh, for, uh, for all of us, uh, which is why uh, post the lockdown, uh, we will be opening up all our uh, discounts, right? So our, our community discounts are uh, for our customers only, but post the lockdown, we will be opening it up to anybody and everybody, right? So if you are a, a startup, a freelancer, or anybody who's affected by the crisis, please get in touch with us. We will make sure you get you get a deal, you get a discount. We will make sure we can help you out in, uh, in any way we can, right? That said, uh, thank you, Karthik, for joining us. Uh, uh, it's, a, it's a pleasure, and we are super thrilled to host you. My name is Venkat. I head the partnerships team for GoFloaters. Uh, I will be your host for, for this afternoon. Uh, the, the webinar today is about uh, generating leads on Quora with zero spend. And the zero spend is the, is the emphasis here, right? Uh, so Karthik is, 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 a, is a professional marketer. Karthik is, a, is an exceptional content strategist. Um, he was uh, with Paperlight before. He's the CMO of uh, Sports Mechanics right now. Uh, we are we are excited to have Karthik here. Uh, and uh, over to you, Karthik. We let's 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 get started. Uh, even I'm super excited to uh, learn some new things today. Yeah. Over to you, Karthik. So, Vikrant, can you stop sharing your screen? I'll share mine. Okay. I'm going to share mine. People able to see my screen? Everybody. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. yes. awesome. So I'll just quickly uh, talk about myself. So Venkat, feel free to uh, uh, button anywhere if people have a question, because as I speak, I won't be able to see if people are asking a query. So please encourage people to uh, ask a query, raise their hand and we can definitely go on. From At there. any point in time, you have a question, you, you, you want, you want a question or you want something to be addressed, please raise your hand or post, post it on the, on the, in the comment section uh, on Zoom, uh, we will make sure they all get addressed. I will be uh, making sure all, all of them get addressed. So, uh, so please do not hesitate to raise your hand or post it on uh, on the comments. Yeah, absolutely, Good. absolutely. Thank you, thank you, Venkat. Thank you, Go Floaters. Uh, and thank you, Sham and Sound, for having me today. I mean, it's a real pleasure. Uh, Koshi called called me a couple of days back, and he wanted me. Uh, hey, can we do this? I said yes. Let's do it. So there was no holding back. So thank you so much for the opportunity. My name is Karthik. Um, I've, I've been in the industry for close to 15 years, uh, been in the IT space, mostly mostly in the marketing space. Uh, I started off my career as a sell-side equity research analyst way back in 2004, 2005. Uh, since then, I have moved on to marketing uh, for obvious reasons because it's the most exciting. And uh, so, yeah, uh, having spent a lot of time in Cognizant, I did uh, spend about close to two years in a startup called Paperflight where we were able to bring in a lot of leads and I'm very proud of what we did at Paper Flight. Quite recently, I joined uh, Sports Mechanics which uh, in January. So Sports Mechanics is uh, above, it's in the field of uh, uh, performance analytics, it's, uh, essentially in the field of cricket. Uh, we work with the likes of uh, BCCI, uh, ICC, and some of the most uh, uh, successful uh, uh, IPL teams uh, even now, we work with a lot of IPL teams. Nine, eight out of ten times that we work with an IPL team has gone on to win uh, the IPL trophy, right? So we are uh, performance anal analysts per se. So uh, we we track every data about cricket ball, and uh, we make we help people understand the data. Having said that, 
I will, what I thought I will do today is uh, spend some time uh, helping people understand from my experience, from whatever I learned about using Quora. Uh, this is what we will talk about, what you see on your screen. This is uh, a simple agenda that I put together last night. Uh, we'll talk about why should we be on Quora. We'll talk about what do you need to generate a lead on Quora and how do you pick questions and topics on Quora. That's something very important that we will spend some time on. And figuring out what is the best answer uh, is, is also important as we work on Quora because it is a very big platform. Uh, and then about tracking leads from Quora, which is what we are all here for. And finally, also the pitfalls and the best practices that uh, can happen that you must be aware of, right? So unless there is anything else we will jump right into it so why quora so obviously it is it is one of the largest communities in the world started by two uh, ex facebook uh, employees uh, it's valued at currently about more than a billion dollars uh, but that being said there are more than 300 million active users every month on quora which is a very sizable number there are all kinds of people there professionals freelancers journalists uh, all kinds of people that are there, there are the, the buyer audience, the buyer uh, personas there are the most diverse that you will ever pop, pro probably come across the entire internet. And the other interesting fact that we found is uh, close to 40% of the users are decision makers in some form or the other. So it is very important that whatever you put out, especially from a business perspective, is appealing to a business uh, decision maker, right? So, so that's why it is important to be uh, on Quora. And an average answer uh, is so people tend to spend about close to four minutes, more than four minutes, on an average and answer, which is, uh, which, which a lot of blogs even today struggle. Correct. A uh, lot of I'm sure a lot of you are right in the business of writing blogs. A lot of you put out a lot of content, ebooks, and the stuff. But I'm not sure how much traffic you're able to generate on your blogs unless unless you're very successful at it unless you have your lessons learned from the past but quora is a platform that can give you a lot of engagement uh, provided you write the right answers correct there are more than 400 thousand topics on quora so pretty much right now as you look at quora it is saturated there are enough topics for everyone to be engaged 24 hours a day but uh, what we will talk about, spend some time talking about is about picking up the best topic that suits you. Uh, you don't have to chase all the 400,000 topics. You just have to chase four topics that you're good at and keep keep going at it day in, day out, right? And Quora is obviously one of the most researched, uh, one of the most looked up platforms on internet. So that's a given. Now, let me spend some time before you jump into writing answers on Quora. Please take a step back. My biggest uh, suggestion to you would be today would be please, please write a proper profile on Quora. Have a very comprehensive profile on Quora. There are, you can write, uh, you can be a little funny, you can be a little quirky in writing your profile, but your profile must be complete. It should have your education, it should have your interests, it should have the projects that you worked on, it should have all the hobbies that you are associated with and the companies that you work for the experience that you have even if you are a student no matter even if you are a student it doesn't matter please feel free to have a complete quora profile the reason why i'm saying this is every answer that you write on quora will have a two line summary below the answer so that gives you the extra thumbs up that gives people the extra thumbs up that hey somebody authoritative has written this answer so it's very important for you to have this complete profile i put a picture of gloria who i follow closely on um, uh, quora and and i know that she is very successful at driving a lot of uh, traffic for her business and then you need a reward for people to reading through your answer correct uh, you are looking to generate leads so you obviously need so I'm assuming a lot of people here want to drive traffic to their websites or they want to bring in more leads. Uh, you're obviously trying to drive some result out of your efforts on Quora, correct? But it is very important in today's content marketing scenario to give people something before you take away anything, correct? So when you are writing an answer, please make sure that you link up to your blog, to an existing marketing collateral that you've already created. It could be a blog, it could be an ebook, it could be an infographic, it could be a video, it could be a YouTube link, it could be any, it could be a 3D image, it could be a 3D diagram. Depending on the industry that you are, please make sure that there is a reward for people uh, inside your answer. It, it could be a small hyperlink. I'll talk to you about the structure of your uh, answer later, but that is very important. This reward is very important. That's what people come here for. And also, please don't get hung up on your product. 
uh, we all know that we all are, we all are trying to sell but then at the same time the community is very important uh, as much as selling is important to you for pura the more important thing is bringing up the community nurturing the community so while for you driving uh, leads is an is an objective for others it could be different so please have a sense of detachment saying that hey you know what yeah this is this could be the best product but there are other products so please please be very very uh, right approach your answers in a very non personal manner uh, do not sell your product to only salesy front on core it's not going to work they're going to throw your answer out okay um and you obviously need the best answers uh, you need to construct your answer very methodically methodologically uh, break it down into simple paragraphs we'll talk about that as well uh, so make sure that you have the best answers there if you don't have the information make sure you ask the information to get your right answers don't go and just write any random answers you will be you will not your answers will not surface so that's my point there and more importantly know your target audience who is coming to read your answer who are the kinds of people who read your answers it could be decision makers i remember some time back when i wrote an answer it was seen by a very i was seen by uh, an administrative person uh, who was a probably manager operations in a in a bank and they bubbled up the idea that they came across this pers- this particular answer to the cfo of that bank right and they then came came to us asking hey could you solve this problem for us so it is very important to have your have a proper structure to your answers correct and also to know who 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 is who are you aiming your answers on right um but then let's actually get down to the basics assuming you are all on cora i'm i'm hoping that you are all build, building a proper profile for yourself on cora on the top right you will see a section where you can search for the uh, for the topic that you are looking to answer now when you search a topic so right here on your screen i put a simple topic saas marketing a lot of us are saas marketers right we are trying to make a mark within the saas community now when you just write when you just enter the term saas marketing in cora this is what comes up these are the biggest topics that you see on your screen this is what comes up and you will also notice that for every topic there is some there is a follower count to it for the word just saas marketing you are seeing close to 25000 followers this is as of late last night right and there are many other such topics digital marketing probably has close to 150 150 150000 150, followers on cora so it is important to highlight to figure out the right topic for you don't go after everything that's what i'm trying to tell you don't go after the 400000 topics go after just four topics or three topics and do very well at it that is that is the core thing that i will tell you today and then it is important to know the niche that you're operating in uh, some of you are product marketers for a particular industry some of you are uh, are sales reps for a particular company but then what does what product or what industry does your does your solution cater to is very important to know your niche if you don't know that you will so if for, for example if you're selling an seo solution uh, and you are writing answers about something totally different you're not going to get leads people are not going to come back to your website people are not going to link back to your website they are not going to come to it so make sure you identify yourself with the niche for example i am in the business of sports analytics so i'll be targeting all answers that are around sports number 1 and analytics performance analytics about improving the performance of a, an athlete what are all those questions that i can go after i will go after them right and then this is very important about finding out who are the writers the biggest writers who are there for a particular topic you will not become a number one writer on day one or not even on day 100 or not even day 300 500 but then what is important is to figure out how do i get how do i become the best writer there correct so what you do is when you select a topic figure out who are the biggest authorities in that topic right now we see jason lemkin is there and there are a couple other people jason is the founder of uh, saster docs of uh, sorry of, of saster uh he is an authority in the saas world himself and he talks extensively across platforms on saas so and if you look at some of so if you notice it he's written only eight answers on the entire topic of saas marketing which is followed by 25000 people and he's driving 2000 views every day which is what makes him special so this is what you need to do when you are researching a topic make sure you go to the top of the to the, to the top follower to the top writer and understand the way they are constructing their answers how are they breaking down the problem how are they addressing each answer this is very important and when you do that you have will have your own lessons about how you want to achieve that right and then like i said before do you really have the ability to answer that question ask yourself it 
I'm sure you do have it. But then is there anything else that you need to build? For example, you know, eight out of 10 features of your product. But what about the rest two? Do you want to talk about the developer in your company to know about the rest two? Go and talk to him and figure out the solution for it and then write the answer. Your answer will be much more better than what your competitor wrote. So it's important to build the ability to answer a question on Quora, right? And then I cannot say this any more importantly, and that is about customer feedback. Please, please, if you're all marketers, if you're entrepreneurs, I'm sure you're already doing this. When you sit down on customer calls, make sure you are taking down notes, which will give you very good hints about what to attack on Quora. If a customer is talking about bad customer experience, if he's talking about a broken product, if he's talking about a feature that is not working well for him, try and relate that back to Quora. Take it to Quora, search for the topic in Quora and write that answer. So the moment that way, what happens is, so what a customer told you about your product or a particular product is probably the same problem that most customers in that industry are facing. So that is an ample space for you to go and explore, write that answer and come out. I am sure your answer will be the best, right? Um, the other thing is about, so there are, so we spoke about 400,000 topics on Quora, right? Now there are enough answers for every topic, every question. Okay. But then if you write the same answer that somebody else wrote, like for example, somebody who's somebody like a Jason Lemkin, he wrote a, a great answer on SaaS marketing, right? If you're writing the same answer that Jason has written, your answer will not rank up you need to be slightly different. You need to have a unique approach to it. So if you have a unique approach to it, go ahead and write it. There's no stopping you from that. And then when you start writing answers on Quora day in, day out, months together, weeks together, months together, you will notice a pattern that some of your answers are doing well. And then you are discovering newer facts about that answer. So at that time, what you do is go back and enhance those existing answers. Some days back, I noticed a person whom I follow on Quora has written an answer close to in I think 2018 and this person has go, gone ahead and edited the same answer about two weeks back and that's still ranking the number one answer in for that question so it is about adding extra value to the existing answers you don't have to find out enough number of questions to answer your uh, to give answers it can even be enhancing an existing answer okay and then Quora has this um, very unique uh, feature where if you search for a question you will have similar questions that pop to the right of your screen. Those are also questions that you can attack. So when you, let's say you write an answer for a question, you know that a similar question was asked because there are so many topics, you know that somebody else is also trying to answer that. So what you do is use certain portions of your answer to write the other answer as well. At the same time, do not copy paste. It's not going to work because Quora, they are very, very clear. They're very particular. They will notice when the moment somebody else is copy pasting, the algorithm is smart enough to do that. Okay. And then uh, look into the comment sections of the biggest, the best answers. You will notice pearls of wisdom inside each of those comments. Whatever people are commenting, people sometimes comment their own experience into the comment section of a, of a good answer. That gives you more, that gives you more insight about which questions you want to go after. So uh, that is ample proof for you to uh, work on. And then I want to talk about the fastest finger first, right? So when you are in Quora, and let's say you've written about 10 answers till date. Uh, it obviously means that you are slowly becoming a subject matter authority in a particular topic on Quora, right? And people and Quora thinks that you are a good authority on a particular topic. Now, the moment Quora thinks that way, they are going to make sure that you get sufficient questions for a topic. And that's what you see here on top of your notification in the, in the, in the blue rectangle here. There are, so right now I have about 33 questions that they want me to answer. Somebody has asked it from somewhere somewhere in India or across the globe. And it could be a topic that I am following. They want me to answer it. So the moment they ask it and the moment you go and write it, uh, your answer can come up to the come up to the top. Now it is a hack. Okay. It is not proven. It is a hack. If your answer is still good, if your answer has comprehensively covering everything that the question is asking and you answer it very quickly, there are very high chances that you will rank on the top there. Correct. For that answer. Now, um, Venkat, I will pause here because I want to take feedback from people if there's anything that I can help address. Um, is there anything that I can do for you guys? Can I help address? I think, I think there were a couple of, uh, a couple of people who raised hands. To, uh, yeah. So what was the question? Guys, please go ahead. I think Arvind raised hand. Uh -huh. 
the last arvind yeah please go ahead arvind uh let me okay i think there are some questions here um vinod says can i still contribute without being associated with a specific organization let's say i have experience in education and learning absolutely absolutely you can be you can be contributing answers so let me be honest up here uh, kona is a growing platform and they are looking for everybody to um, to contribute whatever they know about a particular topic so you can go and answer without being associated with any organization you can say that i work for this there's nothing no harm in being transparent people will appreciate your transparency but at the same time you don't have to you know be uh, restricted around your approach go ahead and write your answer uh, uh, and then this uh, can i can we add a link to our website while addressing absolutely absolutely it is it is definitely a need a must uh, to add a link to your website so let's say you have a product that you're selling that you're doing you are a product manager you are doing well uh, you want to generate more leads feel free to link your product uh, on that but i'll talk a little bit later on um, the linking aspect because uh, it is very important to have the links to the proper web pages and all links from cora are no um, no follow links right so please be aware of that uh, venkat do you want to talk about your experience about how you managed cora how you do it at go floaters there are so many questions coming around i really wish i could answer each one of them yes 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 uh, so we we've, we've been uh, doing uh, cora since probably the last 4 to 5 months Mm -hmm. uh and uh, before we formally started to do it right we, we we've been doing it in, on an on an individual level right i've been answering questions uh, some of our team members have been answering questions and stuff like that uh but um what we've observed generally is that you know like like you said when you when you tend to be salesy when you try to sell on cora yeah. it generally does not work out uh so what actually started working out for us were well researched deep articles right that not just talks about us so i mean we we are we are following topics like co-working we are following startup topics and and, and such right so when yeah. somebody is asking a question we actually try to answer and address that person's uh, answer that's actually when we we kind of tend to see uh, a better response from cora rather than just talking about our 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 firm and talking about what we can do right uh, but when whenever we write a well researched options wise uh, answer right with with all the options that are available and in the end of course right in the end when we say you know full disclosure you know i work for go floaters it doesn't matter people actually don't don't mind that right uh, but when we try to be full on salesy uh, uh, it does not work out correct, so we, correct. we have definitely observed that yeah uh, i think i think somebody else raised yes. a hand yes uh, yes i am seeing that i think it was shubhada who says that you know after going through so cora has this problem which we will actually talk but uh, cora has this problem that they will moderate your answers they will delete your answers they will collapse your answers uh, after a particular time now uh, if it does not certain satisfy certain criteria one of that could be you copied it from somewhere you copied an existing text of an answer from somewhere and you put in okay in that case definitely somebody has noticed it somebody is going to download it and the admin is going to collapse your answer uh, or what you would have done is you would have like venkat just now said you probably salesy uh, in which case it's not uh, being displayed to a lot of users uh, because people don't want to be pushed with the with the options for buying a product they know people are smart enough to make a decision all that you need no need to know is you need to inform people informing and educating is different from being pushy or salesy correct so you are not going to get your answer up there if you do that so and in that case there are chances that your answers will be collapsed your answers can be collapsed if you have far too many links to your website on the contrary if you are writing a well researched answer that's bringing in links from every everywhere rest assured your answer will rank on the top so do not make the assumption that oh you know what i can put in a lot of links into it and i'll get a lot of visits to my website no it's not going to work out that way right so um, that's one somebody is asking about um, the um, the length of an answer uh we will come to that uh so so venkat i will proceed um one second yeah now what is the best answer right uh let us address that fact first because people want to know that answer now your answer has to be detailed there's no two ways about it by detailed i don't mean it has to be 20000 words an answer that warrants uh, a question that warrants an answer within 200 words feel free to write a short answer 200 word answer don't go for 20000 words it's not worth the effort 
but within those 200 words make sure you are covering everything it, you are you are breaking down the problem and you are addressing it that is very important okay and that is uh, that is key uh, it should engage the reader now what i mean by engaging the reader is uh, bear in mind the psychology of a reader uh, when somebody is uh, putting out when somebody is buying a product when you are buying a product on amazon or on flipkart the first thing that you do without your this thing is you go down and scroll the reviews of that right yes or no all of us do it and what why are we doing it we are basically trying to ratify our decision to buy that product correct we are looking for support for our decision to buy that product should i buy that should i not buy that should i buy a different product you are trying to get support mental support that's a psychological that's a human psychology so when you write an answer it is very important that you you are actually in some ways helping a a, a reader review his choices so if you are giving your personal review then he understands oh okay this is what person x felt about it or this is what person y felt about it so it should be engaging in every sense um, the answer without which is very objective which is like far more uh, it's not addressing the true solutions will not have i'm sorry this is a bad noise yeah good good uh, it should it should be visually appealing uh, by that i mean include as many images as possible again don't spam make sure that your images are very very neatly arranged uh, they are professional images wherever you are using images or properties that belong to somebody else you are putting the the credit for that picture that you are borrowing if you are using somebody else's property please be generous enough to say, give the credit there uh, paragraphs and bullets i cannot stress any more on this make sure that your answer is arranged in neat paragraphs and bullets the moment so i follow a simple strategy a very simple methodology when i answer a quora question and that is i the moment i start an answer i will write about the challenge that a particular question itself is i will break the challenge the question itself into smaller tinier bits what happens is when you do that it's a simple psychology of showing the mirror to the reader hey you know what this is not your problem the moment you do that the person will identify and he will trust you more and he is going to read the, through the rest of the answer that's a very simple thing and then once you write the write about the challenge which is which need not be very elaborate it can still be within 160 150 words you immediately go on to the solution when you talk about the solution make sure you are breaking down into simple bullets sub bullets if needed every paragraph must have a, a, an overarching bullet a heading a subheading without that do not please do not write a paragraph it should be error free which means the grammar should be right the punctuation should be right uh, it is um it is very well organized in that structure so make sure that you know and and more importantly your answers should be well researched so some of the best answers that i have come across on quora are from financial stock analysts simply because uh, they have so much of charts that they use day in day out and they what they do is they simply grab those charts and put it on the quora answer so they are literally evidencing whatever their stance is about a particular opinion that they are putting forth so they are saying that hey you know what this has happened in the past this is what happened look you should be wary of this this is what will happen or probably will happen in the future so it is well researched uh, make sure you are covering all your bases you are quoting numbers if you are quoting if you are borrowing uh, numbers or or percentages or growth numbers all of that sort make sure they are well researched well quoted uh, you don't want later to be in a legal problem because you quoted something somewhere without giving them credit correct um and i just wanted to put this picture uh, which i thought is so good uh, somebody asked a question can you post a picture as proof of you yourself for answering this question now this entire answer is just within four three words right see it's me and uh, this is the prime minister of canada justin trudeau who's answered this and just look at the number of likes it's got close to 2000 200000 upvotes so it is a it is a different thing that he is a, a personality and he is able to do it but then this is what in essence is quora as long as you are solving the problem you are giving value to the reader the other aspect that i wanted to talk about is uh, the authenticity of an answer be authentic every word that you put in mind be mindful of the of the fact that it is going to be read by a lot of people the moment you put out an answer if you come back to the same answer after 30 minutes you will see that there are about 10 views 20 views which means every second people are evaluating your answer so make sure you are authentic you should make every word genuine um, so in that sense uh, i'm narrating from your personal experience oh i bought this product 
or I traveled to this place or I had food here with my family. And then when you, re re when you add pictures, when you add your narration, for example, one of my most looked an answers is, uh, can, you, can you tell us what happened when you stepped into a restaurant and you were really baffled by the service? I took a contrarian view and I said, you know what, I was not baffled, but I was very happy with the service. I was surprised by the service that they gave. And that is one of my best performing answers till date. Okay, so I'm just saying this out of uh, my experience. It's because if you narrate your experience, people are going to buy into it. Okay, and please don't be, please don't be flowery on your, this thing. This is not, unless you are a literary expert, you're good at poems and all that sort. Uh, unless you feel that there is a need for it, please don't write any fluffy stuff there. People are going to smell that from a distance and they're going to move on to a different answer. So please don't do that. And then this is something that Venkat also mentioned, right? And I find it so relevant. So somebody asks, let's say, which is the best digital marketing consultancy in Chennai or which is the best, best uh, person to talk about uh, um, LinkedIn or who is, how do you find uh, a particular job on LinkedIn? So when, you, when there are questions like this, if you go down and write the different competitors of your company, if you say that, hey, there are a lot of companies in this space, for example, X company, Y company, Z company, you say all that, and then you say, and by the way, we are also in the same space, we are providing this, 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 you write an answer, you give images, you give videos, and the end, you write a disclosure saying that, hey, you know what, I am the, uh, the uh, I'm, I'm a product marketer, or I, am, I work with this, this company, your answer is going to be valued more, simply because, you gave the reader uh, an entire 360 degree picture instead of just focusing on your company. I am saying again, Kora is interested in developing the community. They want to grow the community and they don't care anything about any of us. So the only way we can get noticed is if we contribute to that community and you cannot do it by do, speaking about yourself alone. So always look into the pack that you're surrounded uh, on your on your, in your business and make sure give a give a mention about it is nothing they are not going to take away your revenues or profit it's not going to happen on the contrary you will be appreciated for being frank right and link your answers this was asked by somebody yes linking your answers is very important do not uh, forget the fact that you know you are rewarding people for reading through your answer and people sometimes what happens is people are people just want to understand right somebody may ask a question like what is sas or uh, what is the difference between sas and pass right? SaaS is software as a service, PaaS is platform as a service. People genuinely don't know the answer. And in which case, if you just write it in one line, people are still not going to understand what platform as a service is. In which case, it is important to understand, to break down platform as a service. Who are the vendors doing it? What do they do? How do they sell? What are the packages? Make sure you write all of this same time, you link your answers to that particular website that you are referring to. So that gives more uh, authenticity and genuineness to your answers, correct? We will move to the next. Uh, is there anything, Venkat, that I should attack? Because I will be talking a little about uh, tracking your leads from Quora. Yeah, so uh, I will just quickly check if there are any other questions. Um, okay. Um, so actually, you know what? Uh, you, you made a very, very, very valid point, right? So uh, the more well-researched it is, this is something that we can definitely attest to. Right. So uh, even for us, uh, one talking about our competitors, yes, that has also worked out. Uh, but more than that, uh, when we break it down, right. So like, for example, in our, in our segment, people do not understand the difference between a shared office and a co-working space, right. They are not the same. Right. Uh, so uh, when, when we kind of break it down and, and kind of make a well-researched answer, right. It has, it has, it has always had a, a better impact and a better, better response than a very generic answer or, or when, when we tend to assume that people would know what it is, right. Uh, it, it has not have got the same response. I think Sham would be able to uh, give us, give us even a bit more uh, insight on that. Uh, so he's currently managing our, our uh, Quora content writers. Sham, do you have anything else to add? Um, uh, I'm an audible link at Yes, you are. Yes, I think uh, I think Karthik is doing an awesome job of uh, uh, kind of breaking it down uh, as to how you go about it, right? Uh, for me, if I have to summarize it as to how you go about uh, using Quora, is is that uh, generating leads or generating business should actually be a byproduct of what you do with Quora. It should not be the intention. Should not be the objective of going into Quora. Objective of going into Quora should be number one uh, for you to understand what kind of questions come up. Yeah. Right. As a startup, yeah. you went 
be able to interact so many people understand what's the pulse on the ground right but cora is a wealth of co-working and and things like that so cora is a wealth of knowledge uh, for your own industry segment for your own geography uh, that's number one right so one that should be an interest that should be the reason why you should be on cora right second yeah. reason that for you to kind of contribute to the community first you should give before you can take from the community right so if you go with the intention of taking first and giving later is not going to work right so it should kind of be a giver first in, in terms of like i think karthik said it right uh, you should answer the question uh, add value to the conversation that's happening on cora um be if you are an expert in a particular uh, okay. talk, i think shams uh, voice is breaking off yes yeah be, yeah you no were yeah. on the topic before you come on or a guy were supposed to answer this question in a very unbiased in a very yeah. uh, detailed fashion how would i do it right if i were a reader of this answer would i appreciate it or would i immediately see that hey this guy is trying to sell me something right so if you take yeah. that kind of an approach the mindset has to change uh, the lead generation or the uh, traffic that comes to your website if it happens to be a by product great right if it doesn't happen still okay because you're still building the awareness you're still building uh, you're still contributing to the community that's going to kind of recognize your contributions at some point in time later down the line that's i think it's just the mindset if you switch switch your mindset so it's not the same guy who's doing facebook ads and trying to be marketing there with the same mindset they enter cora you they'll they'll mess it up right that so just the mindset change is what is needed and kind of to be to be effective on cora in my opinion and this is something venka talked about us doing it in the last four months but Uh, i would say like uh, when we started go floaters cora was by far the big single large sorry am i audible am i audible now i'm sorry i'm so sorry yeah y- yes you are karthik yeah i'm so sorry i'm so sorry uh, there was uh, there was a bit of an issue here uh, so so sham i did some research about go floaters and uh, we were talking about the best answers right so i made sure that i looked up one of the answers that i found personally quite insightful so uh, those of you who are listening to it the first paragraph so this question is about uh, a simple the question is what are the free wifi enabled cafes in chennai from where you can work out a very simple question now i'll go to the second answer the first answer is good as well but when i go to the second answer simply because there is a lot of text that i love engaging with i know that this person has broken down this my challenge i want to find a, a wifi enabled workspace uh, in chennai this is simply what i want to do and at the same time he has broken down the challenge into different bullets this is exactly what a good answer looks like and then when he when he he talks about it, he talks about his personal experience that he had and then he is embellishing with it with images right now this is exactly what we mean by a good answer now when you do this to an answer so this is not spamming this is not you know putting in all the images that you have in your picture library uh, into one answer and thinking oh you know what i will drive traffic this is exactly how an answer should be structured and then he is talking about the different facilities that his business is in chennai right so there are 12 different options for you to choose from this is and then he's also at the end of the answer he said the charges so this in essence is what a good answer should look like okay so if you are hunting for good answers this is please make sure that you look up this particular answer this is an indicator in the right direction there are millions of answers that are probably good but if you're looking for searching for the best ones this is one among the, one among them um venkat i also want to spend one minute on uh, somebody asked the question and that was um, uh and a question was asked in 2012 and uh, they want they they were looking if we should answer it yes you should answer it if you have the right answer to it um there is no taking away from the fact that you have an experience to answer it so please go ahead and answer it do not hold yourself back uh, it doesn't mean just because a topic a question was asked back in the day it is not relevant anymore it is relevant in many ways in fact the scenario would have changed so for, go ahead and write it in the change scenario there's no uh, nothing wrong in it uh, so i so i will take uh, a little bit of your time to explain this bit how you how do you drive leads and how do you track them uh, a lot of people here may not have done it or maybe are probably doing it so maybe this is just a, a refresher for you so there's a simple tool uh, that google analytics has put out called ga dev hyphen tools at spot.com uh, it's a very simple tool it's a campaign url builder uh, let us assume that your link that you're going to provide in your cora is uh, is a blog that you wrote in this case i wrote a blog uh so in this in this field enter the name of the enter the link the url of the blog go to the campaign source and in this case mention cora source uh, campaign source as cora and then the medium as questions correct when you do that when you fill all this all all three of this 
at the end of it, make sure that you name the question that you have taken. This is very important. Now, why are we doing this? We are basically tracking down who is or how many uh, leads or how many, what is the traffic that is coming from a particular question that I answered on Quora. So you know that this was the link, this were the inputs that you gave for a particular answer and you plug this link into Quora, into your Quora answer and that is where people are reading it, finding more a lot of value in your website and they are clicking through for more information into this. And this is where you get to convert your link to a shorter link, right? So you can do it, you can click here, authorize it and you will get a bit.ly link copy that link and embed it into your answer. I will spend one minute about how to track this on uh, Google Analytics. So this is the, so this is where go to, so a lot of you may not have access to Google Analytics. I can understand that for example, some of your students or some of you, uh, some of you are from, from very large organizations where the Google Analytics is being monitored by somebody else. In which case, if you can somehow establish a communication with your team or if you are the admin for Google Analytics, fantastic. Go to the acquisition section of uh, Google uh, Analytics, go to source and within source, within this field that you see here, primary dimension, secondary dimension, choose a uh, secondary dimension here as source and medium. And within the source and medium, you will see a number of choices that you see here. So this is where, which will, this is where it will tell you where from a particular, which particular answer is attracting traffic to your website. Now, how does it look like? This is how it looks like this particular so this person and so unfortunately i'm not able to share my uh, my google analytics uh, report with you but this is what i borrowed from the internet and so this is what this person answered which are the best startup pre-launch pages and that has come she's she's gotten a lot of traffic from this do you if you see the numbers here these are the number of visitors that people have come up so there is clear evidence see these are the ads so these this is this is the best performing question which are the best startup pre-launch pages and then the next best performing question is for them, this is the next best performing and they're getting probably more than a thousand, I, mean, I don't know, maybe 5,000 visits from Quora alone. That's because they've invested effort in it. It's not uh, a one day job. It's, prob it's probably built over a period of two years or maybe five years, but they are getting traffic from all of these questions because they answered these questions very methodically. And if you look at it, the, all these questions are all nearly around the same topic. They are not going after 400,000 topics. They're going after two topics. One is startup pages. Second is social media marketing. That's all. So this is how you build up your profile. This is how you build up your authority in Quora, right? Uh, this is something I wanted to personally spend time on because people struggle to figure out. Sometimes people don't have the evidence to to track down how do how do I uh, how do I establish that Quora is actually giving me a, a good traffic? This is clear evidence that Quora can give you traffic provided you do it the right way. I will move on to. A simple slide right now let us actually literally break it down and if any of you want me to read re revisit this this section please do let me know in the questions i will do it again for you because this is very important for you to establish the fact that quora answers are giving you leads quora answers will give you um uh, traffic to your website correct uh, now let us assume that you figured out a good quora strategy right now you're three months into the Quora strategy, uh, you figured out more or less, you figured out your way, how you need to wade through it. Um, and then you want to figure out now you are at a stage. Now you're trying to evaluate how good uh, am I spending the right amount of time here, right? Now, this is why I put up a simple math for you. Let's assume a Quora answer is going to take you 20 minutes. For some of you, it might take more. For some of you, it might take even less. But uh, for somebody who is seasoned, I'm sorry, but for somebody who's a seasoned writer, it might take 20 minutes. This is just a base number. It can go up and down. Now, assuming this person writes two answers a day, and let's say this person is working 200 days a year, which is again, a simple assumption that I made, you're going to be working for close to 135 hours an entire year, an entire year answering only Quora questions. Two questions a day, uh, which means 400 answers in a year, which costed you 135 hours of your time, right? You invested that very fine, very good. Now let's say, so what happens is, uh, I'll narrate this from my personal experience. We started answering questions in Quora about close to two years back, right? And we, what we did is we started answering very objective, simple questions on sales enablement, sales pipeline, building up uh, the revenue pipeline for say for a startup. What is a document management service? We answered simple questions, but you guys won't believe it for close to two and a half months, I had zero traffic to show to my manager. I didn't have even a single visit from Quora for all the hours that I had put in. I had put in close to 100 hours probably, writing just answers on Quora. Four or five hours a day, I used to just write Quora answers. And I had 
what did I have to show? I had zilch, zero, zip. That's all I had to show my, uh, to, 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 when I looked at the Google Analytics report day in, day out, every day I used to come in in the morning, log in, check the Google Analytics. There were zero visits from Quora. It used to drive me nuts that on one end, people are saying, Quora actually drives you qualified leads. On the other end, I'm not even, forget leads. I'm not even driving traffic. How do I even generate leads? But then what happened is I figured that a, a few questions that um, that are very in depth, that are probably indirectly related to the topics that I'm aiming for is what I should be focusing on. So when I was looking through it, I found that a simple question like, can I track a document via uh, Google spreadsheets? Can I track a the, 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 the thing is very simple. I am using a Google document. Can I track who is viewing it? Who is working on it? Can I track it? I went and wrote an answer in there. Slowly, I started seeing numbers. It, it took about two and a half months for me, two and a half to three months for me to figure out what is the exact question I should go after. And then when I started realizing that particular question actually is giving me numbers week after week. And I used to diligently monitor this. There is no way every Monday morning you will see me uh, seeing what is the particular, what did this, how many leads, how many visits did this particular question bring me? And then slowly when we started doing it, we also realized that these people who are coming in, we found out the particular geography where they are coming from using Google Analytics. And I also found that they are actually slowly converting into leads. We were able to almost 95% nail down that this person has come through a Quora answer using Google Analytics. Now, how to do that in Google Analytics is a separate thing. I don't want to mix up that with this, but this is a simple math that I put. So into coming back to the calculation that we had, 200 days uh, a year you spend answering Quora, um, 200 days in a year you are answering Quora questions. It's about 135 hours. And assuming after six months, you figured out your Quora strategy, let's assume that you drive five qualified leads from your Quora answers, which means there are 60 qualified leads from your Quora, entire Quora strategy in the entire year. You divide 135 by 60, you get two and a half hours per lead, which is not at all bad, which is quite good. It is very, very simple. 135 hours invested. And even, even if I say this number is, is not 60, it's 20. Even if those 20 are qualified leads, boss, today, Qualified, qualified leads come at a price. Every qualified lead on some of the most SaaS, uh, some of the biggest SaaS platforms that you go and buy your lead costs you a lot of money. Instead of that, it, this is a simple organic strategy to get more leads into the funnel. Number one, it's not going to cost you a lot. It is a very cost effective way. Number two, it is an organically generated way. And thirdly, you're building an online presence of your company besides the website that you already have. You're actually building an online presence, a brand presence for your company. So which is, that is the power of Quora. Quora allows you to do that, provided you do it the right way, right? Um, what I'll do is I'll finish off my slides, Venkat, so that uh, there are a lot of good questions that are coming through. I will be answering one by one. Now, I want to spend some time on the pitfalls to avoid, okay? Um, and this is something that all, all of us get sucked up into. We don't really realize what is Quora and how do we navigate this unless we do, unless we, we know what it involves. Quora is not Instagram. Please do not go for likes. Please, please do not share your personal pictures. Unless you have a very good reason to do it, please do not do it. Don't look for likes. It is not about virality. Okay. Um, it is not about that. It is about giving value, helping the community build and grow. Okay. Second is don't think that you are smarter than the algorithm. Okay. Uh, the moment you write uh, answers that don't, uh, that don't addressing the question correctly, the algorithm will push your answers down. There's, that is a given that happens every time I've noticed it. And it is about answering a question as directly as possible. If somebody is asking, voice is not audible. I'm so sorry. Am I audible? Pinkat, is it fine? Yes. Yes. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. So if you, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Uh, if, if you're not giving direct answers to your questions, forget the fact that people will even come to your website and being consistent. Somebody said this, I noticed this in the, uh, in the question section, somebody asked that, you know, they used to write Quora answers uh, for a long time and then they suddenly stopped doing it and they moved on to LinkedIn to build a personal brand, but they are not able to answer Quora. Yes, I am going through the same situation. I'm not able to devote as much of time as I would have loved to, to be on Quora to help build the community, but that is a challenge, right? Every social media platform has its own challenge. The moment you spend time on a particular social media where you want to build your presence and all that, uh, that is where you get sucked into. So obviously Quora will penalize you for it, but then that is where you can be a little more aware of your times. And what you can do is you can use, reuse some of the things that you're using on your LinkedIn to Quora. There is that way Quora. So 
this it's not a perfect plagiarism it's just reusing some of the stuff that you're putting out on linkedin on your quora answer so that is a strategy that i do right now and then not being consistent you write one quora answer today oh very fine it's a very fine pleasant morning we write one quora answer and then we forget it for the rest of the year next year we come back and write one more answer sorry leads are not going to come you need to be consistent day in day out without fail if you can write two answers or even one answer just set up yourself set yourself up for writing just one answer that itself is a good job you will see a remarkable remarkable improvement after 90 days now i am i am assuring you i am guaranteeing you i am living proof of you know driving traffic through quora so that's one please do not be spammy please do not be spammy please do not put all the website links in your website into one quora answer and hope no it's not going to work do not repeat your answers if you've used if you want to reuse feel free to reuse feel free to make certain changes tweak it to a particular question every question if you're repeating the same answer copy paste there no simple question simple uh, example sham has got an answer for what are the best wi-fi enabled cafes that i can work for that i can work in chennai if he copies the same thing for a different uh, question of the same category no ways in fact his original question might also get penalized so make sure that you don't do that and the thing is about being selfish yes we all want to i i'm repeating this we all want to be salesy we all want to be you know selling at the same time please do not do that don't go with that attitude uh, i already covered virality and once a while feel free to have fun okay um when you're writing business like very good but i'm sure all of you have hobbies i'm sure some of you somebody spoke about sports somebody spoke about um, you know zoho corporation so i'm sure out of all of this out, out of all of your work time you also have hobbies you have families you do a lot of different things feel free to write about all of that so what happens is you build a genuine personality it's about genuineness today the market is all about authenticity and being genuine all around uh, instead of you know you, you know what i am the biggest guy no please don't do that make sure that you are an all rounder in every form um and then the best practices to um, uh, to follow on on quora right guys remember it is quality over quantity in a year if you are saying that oh you know what 2020 i'm going to write 500 answers on quora you are setting yourself up for failure say that i am going to answer 50 questions on quora on that 50 questions my questions are going to be so good that you know what it is going to drive traffic to my website that is quality over quantity please go after quality that is why i keep harping on the same thing make sure that every answer is worthwhile for the reader who is reading it make sure he is giving his time to read your answer which means you need to be worth making it worthwhile correct um i already spoke about this before improving an existing answer you've written an answer in 2012 there is nobody stopping you from not improving it go ahead and make it current make it make it to make it uh, relevant to today's environment things have changed a lot but there is no nobody is going to stop you from ex- from enhancing an existing answer that is very important um and look to contribute make make sure that the community is growing along with you you are contributing you know you come across so i'll tell you a, a thing that i have found out uh 15 years back 15 20 years back uh, or even even now uh irctc used to have this uh, they still have this tatkal thing right 11 am in the morning they used to open the windows for tatkal booking and all of us will be ready uh, at 10:45 all the systems the wifi everything will be ready we want to book the tatkal ticket right the moment you log in at 11 11 1 minute past 11 you see all the tickets are gone no way you're not going to make a trip back home for diwali or christmas that's not going to happen but then what we did is somebody had the idea to take screenshots on how they found out and hack and put it on a website and wrote it now that was in some form probably an inspiration for quora correct so it's about finding a solution for a particular thing and writing about it now i am not asking you to go and write all the different hacks that you have on quora but i'm saying if you have a solution if you have a solution that you feel that somebody is going to benefit out of it feel free to write a very authentic answer okay Uh, we already spoke about giving before you taking that is a must no matter it's quora or any particular marketing platform you follow it is very important and engaging with others don't just keep writing answers engage with other similar fellow contributors say that you love your answer engage with them on linkedin follow them on twitter retweet them so this way what happens is you're building a connection you're building a relationship with them um for example some a few months back six months back what we did is what i noticed is somebody i noticed a person who is writing very good answers i looked him up on linkedin and uh, he he immediately connected he realized that i was actually commenting on his answers on quora and he he loved the relationship and then i invited him for an interview he said yes why not and he we did an interview together right and we were able to appeal to a very specific set of customers using our interview so 
so quora is about engaging it's about making sure that you are reaching out to people and helping them grow you are pulling up everybody else along with yourself correct and make sure that no matter what social media you're following it could be quora it could be for some of you it could be instagram some of you will be doing linkedin some of you will be doing twitter choose the channel that you want to be on if you don't if you feel that instagram is not something that you want your business to be on feel free to you know say it goodbye you don't want instagram that's fine but at the same time choose a channel that works for you in fact there is a similar uh, platform called reddit i'm sure all of you heard of it now reddit doesn't have a lot of business to business following it doesn't have a lot of business content in it there's a lot of other related content to it which for example the iphone there's a lot of content on cricket or a lot of content on sports in general but not a lot of content relating to business or relating to the the topics that i was chasing so it's very important that you choose your channel that you want to be on and more importantly finally um, it is the it is a long run it is it is about putting in efforts in the long run um, it is not going to give you results on day 1 it is not going to give you results on day 30 but do not lose hope it will give you it it has given me i can and i can try and fetch the google analytics screenshots for you to prove that you know we drove qualified leads from the answers we wrote so please be patient and please do uh, please do follow this thing so what i'll do right now venkat is i'll stop sharing my screen and i will uh, take up some of the questions that came across uh does it help yes, you understand yes. please, please please feel free to go ahead and post post your questions on the on the on the chat Uh, Karthik, um, how do you so Karthik is asking how do you use Quora for enterprise B two B products? It's same. It's it's just a product. It's a simple. Uh, uh, you still have a product. You have features of that product. You have a particular solution that the product addresses. Feel free to write write uh, an answer, an unbiased answer for that product, uh, Karthik Shankar. It doesn't mean that uh, just because you are in the B two B space, Quora is not for B two C. Nobody ever said that Quora Quora is a B two C uh, platform. uh it is it applies to b2b as much as b2c uh then the next question is about uh once again i'm so sorry uh in ads i can be able to get any conversion how do i get so uh, i'm not sure i've not used the ads uh, sorry one second uh one second uh, i was writing quora really okay i answered what is uh Your answer does help understand the Quora algorithm, and then, acha, okay. So the next question is, does it help to understand the Quora algorithm, and then write answers according to the algorithm trend? It, this is like asking um, Google's uh, thing. Uh, can I understand Google's algorithm, and can I figure out uh, how to write the best blog, or how do I make sure my this thing is surfacing on top? It's very difficult. Tr- trust me, uh, Quora. So uh, there are certain tenets which is about which I spoke to you already about about building the community, contributing, writing genuine stuff, being authentic. so that those are all the things that the algorithm will take into effect there is no way you can crack the algorithm for quora the only way you can do it is probably be friend a developer in quora and figure out how do they do it but then the easier way to do it is writing genuine answers uh okay somebody else uh, what happens you don't have enough questions okay yeah this is a good question how would i like hi i would like to know what happens when we don't have enough questions to answer to start with now uh, what you can do in this case is there is a hack uh what you can do is you can ask a question in case you have a you want to answer a particular uh you have knowledge about a particular solution you have you want to answer it you ask the question and immediately go and write the answer for it with all the uh, um all the uh, effort that you want to put in with all the content all the text all the images videos whatever you want to write so that way what happens is it's a geo specific product i understand it does not apply it probably applies in the north america does not apply in the middle east but then what happens is the moment you do that uh and you say and you you classify in your question that this applies only in to to people in north america there will it will be shown to a lot of people in north america so you know that okay your answer will appear to a lot of people lot of buyer personas in north america okay uh, what else why not do research on quora and write the answers on our own blogs why give away content so um so it is not yeah it it is a very uh, very dicey topic right uh, why should i contribute to a third plat- third party platform yes feel free to build your own platform but so if you want leads you want to give you want to give up some of your stuff to them correct so uh, you can you can take your stance your stance depends on what do i want to do do i want to drive leads or do i want to build my own platform if you are able to get people onto your platform and drive business out of it nothing like it so feel free to do that but the important thing here is 
uh, for a lot of SaaS marketers, who uh, Quora is has proven to be a fruitful exercise. So that's the reason why we wanted to speak about to you today. Um, what else is the question? How many questions have you answered for Pratik? Sorry, uh, Koshik is asking this. Okay, Tan Tanoy is asking, can you quickly explain how Spaces is different? So Spaces is something that is uh, is Spaces is something that's personal to everyone. Uh, on Quora. So you can create your own space for yourself. Uh, you want to, let's say, uh, follow uh, IPL cricket, that's a space. So that's something that you are interested in. And uh, that is exactly what others will view you as an expert on that. So this is very different from topics. Topics is displayed to everybody. Spaces is for yourself. So you can keep adding more questions to it, more content to it as you go along. So that's for you. Uh, which finally, there's one question, which link works based on Quora, lead gen form, landing page, website or specific page and how many images are optimal? So for, it depends. So for example, a 200 word answer, I would imagine, let's say two images or three images per answer is good. If you have a video good enough, feel free to embed the video link. Uh, but then it, it, it does contribute. Uh, you also ask which links work best on Quora, lead gen form. No, don't put, please don't put lead gen forms in it. Uh, landing page websites are the best uh, legion forms are maybe slightly down the funnel when people are really good people people have really understood your solution your answer is kind of solved their problem that is when you have a legion form but otherwise a landing page or a website is good enough yeah uh, anything else Venkat that you want me to answer oh yeah somebody says this uh, some says post from one account and answer from another will it create issue or spam geolocation based leads so see uh, it is you can do it you can post from one account and you can do it so that's what i'm trying to say so as long as you're able to you know not be on the radar of admins of quora you can probably be successful but the moment they notice it your answer will be collapsed so my only uh, worry there is all your effort will go away so do it as a as a hack to probably just check if it works but if it's not if they if they collapse your answer please don't blame me because you know that you didn't do the right thing there are probably so many questions uh, Venkat, there are, i am seeing 14 new messages uh, and i really want to answer all every single one of them uh, but it's we've actually just on the time uh, on the on the mark of four o'clock and it's a sultry afternoon probably time for a good hot cup of coffee uh, what i'll do is if i can get Absolutely. the questions if i can get these questions uh, and I will try my best to answer this on a, in a, in a, I'll type out the answers to it, to it and send it out to everyone. If that is fine with you guys. Absolutely. Absolutely. Karthik. And, and I also just want to let you know that, uh, it's a full house today. We almost <laughs> had a 90 plus, uh, turnout today.